Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli with Little Blue, and that's right, uh, yeah, part two of our review of The Bad Batch, episodes three, Replacements, and episodes four, Cornered. What do we think of, now, what do we think of episodes three and four? I'm continually impressed with this show. Um, of course. Even though it's CGI, it's... And it's a spinoff of The Clone Wars, of course. Exactly. It's, uh, the plot line's really strong, character development's really strong, um, yep. It gets. I mean, it gets brutal at times. It really does. It's. it's not oh a, yeah. Definitely not a kids show. That's for sure. Yeah. It's kind of. Um, it's kind of mutual. I think. Yeah. For it's, slight, slightly older kids. Yeah. Just about. I, I would say slightly older kids like us. <laughs> yeah. And also in episode three replacements. I mean, what could you remember in this? Like when you watched it. Well, I think uh, what's her name? Omega. 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 Like, she's like Omega and the Bad Batch. They're like kind of they kind of get stranded on this planet. They're like repairing it. Yeah, her her origins are still kind of mysterious. You I know. know. She was on uh, Camino. She's she was on Camino and, you and know, like now a she's science with them. science assistant or something. Yeah, and so you don't know that much about her, but, but she probably uh, will later in the show. She's got a lot of spunk. She's yeah. got a lot of uh, got a lot of drive. Got a lot of moxie, and she's she sure is she's sure courageous. And um, in the between that, in the episode three, we also have you know Crosshair and this new like batch of troopers or whatever, not clones that is. Yeah, it's interesting to see how this is developing because uh, <clears throat> Grand Moff Tarkin, who was in of course episode four as uh, Governor Tarkin, and where Star Wars began. Yeah, his 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 official title is Grand Moff Tarkin. Now in the Bad but, Batch, or, or well, in I've, in that was how he was. Oh well, in, in, in the, the new credits. in a New Hope, right? In a New Hope, uh, yeah. in the original Star Wars movie that came out in seventy seven. But I didn't pay attention to his rank and what if his rank was set in the Bad Batch. Uh, well, he's uh, he eventually becomes a governor. Yeah, um, but a, and I think at that point he probably is a governor yeah. in in the Bad Batch. But you start to see how. It's the like, clones are starting to fade out now because there's others yeah, and, within the Empire that have the idea that, you know, uh, the clones are so cost prohibitive because it costs so much to, to create them. And now we find out the Camino is talking amongst themselves saying, well, you know, the DNA we have from Django Fett is, is, is almost completely gone now. Yeah. So they're going to have to come up with something new. So eventually what happens, of course, is they eventually quit using a clone army. And you have, you know, and they have... I guess we might see that in the Bad Batch. They, you know, at first they get volunteers, but we find out later on, as we did in um, uh, Force Awakens, that, uh, you know, Finn was not... He he did not voluntarily go. He was pulled from his family. Yeah. They, they randomly pulled kids from the family to serve in the Empire. Yeah. We're, of course, we're, we're talking about Bad Batch, of course. Of course. And but this is where all these origins know, are coming yeah. about. I know. Another thing is... Tarkin, I was just going to quickly mention, like, his ranks in Clone Wars, because he appeared in Clone Wars a few times. Right. He was captain, and then later, and especially in Season 5, he went as Admiral. Right. And I didn't pay attention, again, I didn't pay attention to his rank in this one. He eventually, well, I haven't either, but he's, at this point, um, he's probably, um, where this is somewhere right before... Right um, after Order 66, definitely, and, it's, and right. from Episode 1... Right, aftermath. So he, he's somewhere. He's probably still an admiral. Yeah, I would, some, I would say so. But too. at some point, he does become a governor. Right. Um, and it's it's interesting to see again how this how the clone army now is starting to be questioned. You know that there, it is not the best. First, they're talking about integrating volunteers with the clone army and having the clone army train them. And mm -hmm. you know, and we see some of the you know how there's a. Sort of a, a rebellion with one of the one of the uh, volunteer soldiers who used to be a rebel, yeah, and joined the empire, and um, just because he got paid more, that's yeah. all he was worried about. Mm -hmm. And so you know he ends up getting killed. Uh, Crosshair kills him uh, because Crosshair, you know, he won't take orders from Crosshair. He questions him, so he just kills him. Yeah, it was a bit dark, don't you think? It was pretty dark, yeah. And, and, the, he, and, 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 as, and, as, and as Crosshair <clears throat> says, good soldiers follow orders. Then he ordered the rest of the Stormtrooper volunteers that were volunteers that, that joined the Empire yeah. and put on Stormtrooper uniforms to uh, to kill uh, the other settlers that were there. I mean, there were still clone uniforms that they were wearing, so... Yeah, they were, but they, were, they weren't clones. They were volunteers. I know, yeah. So uh, only crosshair was so exactly, um, and also okay, and the, even like later on, like in the episode, Omega gets her own room with you know from Wrecker, that 
Yeah, Wrecker's uh, Wrecker's got an endearing quality. You know, he's kind of a big tough guy, guy big and, tough guy, but he's but got has, a big heart. Yeah, and funny. So, yeah. And then we come to episode four, which is of course you know um, cornered, and this is where the the planet they 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 land on. Exactly. Do you remember, remember what the planet was called? Uh, I can't. It was. Oh my gosh! It was. Um, it's right there. It, it's very close to what was the planet in the movie Avatar? Pandora. It was uh, it was something like Pandora, but it was Panora or something like Panora, that. Panora, maybe just... something. It was it was something very similar to that because when they first said, I said, "Did he say Pandora?" No, they said something else. But it was a planet I'd never heard of in the Star Wars universe. And we uh, were seeing it for the first time in this. Crash landed on it. Well, and, they didn't uh, crash land; they just kind of landed. Well, it was a hard landing, and they had oh. to have a replacement part that they needed, and that some and kind the, of creature stole it. But well, and even the species of Nanimnum. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't know. They didn't. It, it stole this part because it fed off the it fed off the power, and so uh, they. And then yeah, and then like also we get the appearance of Fennec. Fennec Shan makes an appearance. It was really cool. And I mean, it, she was it, announced that she was going to appear in the show. And the actress that voiced uh, that, Ming, that, what's her name? That you know, played her part in uh, the Mandalorian, and she's done voice work too. She does the voice work for Fennec Shan in this, and uh, it's a very good likeness of her in CGI. Yeah, and, of course. Uh, she's yeah, and she's, same helmet too. Yeah, and she's pretty, helmet she's, gear. She's pretty tough. And apparently, Omega's a, the bounty, and with Fennec. Yeah, but uh, she's they they want her back alive. We so. don't well, we don't know who it is. You know who like. That, no, but at the end of the episode that Fennec contacts, communicates with. Yeah, that's part of the mystery, which yeah. we'll find and out a, later. And a chase with Omega and Fennec and Hunter. Yes. And did you pay attention to this? Like, there's one part where, like, oh, I guess Fennec is on, like, this this cargo, whatever, shuttle or whatever, and, like, this one alien who's driving it. We cut to him, and, like, he's listening to music on headphones. Yeah. He doesn't know what's going on. Doesn't have a clue what's going on, and the thing is being, all this all this cargo is being dumped out and, of the yeah, back of and it. and these two, like, policemen or whatever. Fennec takes yeah. takes one out, but, and causes the other one to crash. Yeah, it, I mean, it was it was pretty brutal. Kind of similar to, like, say, Boba Fett, how he took out one, like, M Imperial craft or whatever, like, carrying a, a stormtroopers, and it hit the other one. Yeah, and then, it, she, then she steals a, she steals a speeder. And the guy that's driving it, and she comes up in the back of it, and he goes, "What the?" And she she uh, slams his head against the yeah, and know, he throws him console, out, and then throws him out, and kills him. You yeah, know? falls to his death pretty so, much. Yeah, so it's like, God, man, this is getting brutal. Wow, now, this was before the Mandalorian. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, and um, but episode four was pretty good, don't you think? Oh, it was excellent. Yeah, it was very good. Yeah, and uh because they get to you so good, you have to wait until the next episode, you know. Yeah, that's exactly right. I can't wait to see what episode five has in store. And here's the thing, because before we filmed this, I was I've talked about this before. Like we are going to get Rex in this. Yeah. And I hope as though I don't see why not. We could get the appearance of you know who. So yeah, Ahsoka. Ahsoka Tana. And I even did a video of this, and I was telling you this too. But you know, along with Ahsoka, that we could. I hope we could possibly get an appearance of Cad Bane in this. Yeah, that would be really cool. It's widely open and a really great idea for him being in. We it. haven't seen Cam Bain in a long time. Since season four of the Clone Wars. Exactly. Yeah, he was years ago. Yeah. Exactly. He was a great character too. And right there next to Bubba Fett. Like yeah. a tie between both him and Bubba Fett is the two of the best Star Wars bounty hunters. Well, you know, I mean we've got you know, we've got uh my gosh, we've got all these spin off shows that are coming from Star Wars, uh uh, and you know what? Because and there's there's even talk now that there's going to be a a series for Luke, the Lost Years. You know the years between uh, uh, Return of the Jedi and yeah, you know, and up to the point where he's you know, saying uh, like Mark Hamill I'm pretty sure is involved somewhere in that. Oh, I'm sure he is. Yeah, I'm sure he is. As of now, because uh, he can you know with him as Luke again, like you know working alongside John and Dave. That's easy. So. Yep, uh, John Favreau and Dave Filoni. I mean, those are two guys that I would want to work with. So. Yeah, and I can I cite them as mad geniuses. Uh, they are. They're where Star Wars is concerned. They are mad, and, and Dave Filoni's more of a mad genius even than John Favreau. I know exactly. Uh, he's he knows. John's right there in that today. I mean, so. he knows. You know, St John Favreau knows Star Wars, but Dave Filoni knows Star Wars. I mean, he knows. Every everything. single every detail, little, every little even like a, good detail, even like a piece of armor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> back story. Seen that, seen that in the interviews with uh, uh, the actress that played uh, um, Cara Dune, that she G said, "Gina, 
uh, Corona, uh, yeah, Corona, Corona, I think she was um, saying like you know Dave was telling her like to, the backstory of the armor. Yeah, exactly, hey, exactly how to wear it and how to have it strapped on, you know, wow. stuff like that. Uh, so like that's amazing. Even a yeah. piece of armor that's not even a lie. So you can, you can see where you know. Mark Mark Hamill's is, is is kind of an eccentric artist. You know, he's 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 just excellent in everything he does. And you can see where he would be drawn to that. You exactly. Know? He had wanted, I think at time he wanted to give up Luke Skywalker, but especially because it's, it's hard to give when, up an icon. And even like when, that. like, say, when he read the script for Last Jedi, yeah, you told me because, like, when he read it, his jaw like practically dropped to the floor. Yeah, exactly. It, he was totally shocked when he saw what was basically becoming of Luke Skywalker. And like he said something to Ryan, just like, or he said he said somebody about Luke, you know, when he read the script. Yeah, I can't remember now what, what it what it was, but he was he. I know he was totally shocked when he read the script when the one that Ryan Johnson directed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the Last Jedi. So and how what Luke uh, was like in that? Exactly. I, a lot of people a lot of people criticized that movie. I thought it was a very good movie. I it's it like, I think well it's done. definitely heavily mixed. I know it's definitely heavily mixed, but I thought it was a very good movie. Yeah, and in its own right. Yeah, there you go. Even though I had to say that for you in my review of Last Jedi. Yeah. So. Both all that being said, uh, the, the episodes three and four of The Bad Batch, they were good. Replacements and Cornered. Very good. And until part three, when we review episodes five and six. Yes. Yeah, I think, it, well, this makes sense. Like, we're doing two episodes in, like, parts, you know? Part one yep. we did. Part, you get the idea. Yep. So, the you do too. So, until part three, guys, this was the, 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 next, the next two episodes, three and four, they were good. And can't wait until five and six. Be fun. Yeah, and because there, there's 16 episodes to this, that's good to see. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, so can't wait. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part three, and we'll see you guys in the next video slash review. Any last words? I must be off. Yep. For me, take care. Peace out. And may the Force be with you.